Count Carla. Um, Minister, organised crime is an insidious reality, and those that participate in that insidious reality are, are some of the most unscrupulous um, people that will use particularly grotesque violence and intimidation to um, meet their ends. They are highly organised, highly motivated and highly adaptable by uh, the vast profits of the black economy, the alternative economy. And obviously when there is inequality and poverty uh, a factor, uh, some people will go down that route of the alternative economy. And that's no excuse. Lots of people, many, many people that come from working class areas never go down the road of organised crime. This is a very, very small amount of people that come from working class communities and other communities uh, that will uh, participate in this activity. And one of the main drivers of organised crime, Minister, is the supply and distribution of drugs. In fact, I think it's the key uh, driver in relation to organised crimes and organised crime. And once you have a situation where the controlled drugs of the state are controlled by uh, organised crime, I think you ha we have a problem. Because ultimately, the controlled drugs that we're talking about, where people do use, um, are controlled by uh, the black market. And it's highly profitable, and um, it's hugely kind of uh, insidious in, in areas uh, of our life. And the proliferation of all drugs over the last five decades has exponentially increased, the same as our kind of prison uh, population. So what does that say about, you know, the laws of the land? Because you have to go back to the Misuse of Drugs Act in 1977. It reflected what happened in Britain uh, a number of years before to make a deterrent for anybody to supply drugs or to use drugs. Now, anybody that can tell me in this chamber that that has, done, has the desired effect, well, they'd be, fooling, they'd be fooling actually by anybody in here. It hasn't done that. It hasn't done that at all. In fact, it's enriched a tiny, tiny amount of people in our society and getting extremely rich, extremely rich. So I think there is, I, I think there is uh, a narrative that I would debate uh, and argue that we, not look, we need to look at something very, very different from what we have at the moment. And that kind of uh, difference and alternative, I think, is about taking gap control. Stop criminalising people for using drugs. People will do use drugs for all sorts of reasons. Uh, but as I said, the black market largely controls um, uh, drugs. It's highly profitable, and we need to take control back. Um, and that control, Minister, has many kind of strands to it. And we're, we're obviously having a debate about decolonisation um, in the Citizens' Assembly. And that's a, it's a very, very good debate, very, very important debate. And hopefully, uh, the, the Citizens' Assembly will make recommendations to look at different approaches to the status quo, because the status quo doesn't work. If it worked, then people wouldn't be using drugs. I mean, ha mo the vast majority of people that are in Irish prisons are there for drug-related crime. So it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Um, and we need to do something different. And that radical difference, I don't think most people will agree with me when I say this, and I say this very, very genuinely. I think we have to do something very different, radical, radically different uh, than the paradigm of prohibition. Um, and that's about decriminalising the person. If people want to use drugs, people will use drugs whether they're legal or not. We, st we have to stop criminalising people if they want to use drugs. There's also a fact that people will use drugs and enjoy drugs, right? And drugs have been around for millennia. People will, you know, alt want to alter their mind, you know, if they want to do that. Why criminalise them and why bring them through the criminal justice system? It simply hasn't worked. And we've got to look at all alternatives, radical alternatives, in relation to regulation and legalisation of certain drugs. I think there's even a debate to be had about regulation of all drugs. All drugs. Um, it's a quite a nuanced debate. Uh, there's many kind of um, reasons why people turn to drugs. People will, there's a lot of people that will never abuse drugs, never abuse drugs. We'll use them, but never abuse them. And I think moralising people for the use of drugs, Minister, and you've said that, and I'm surprised you said that, very surprised. I don't think, you know, it doesn't sit well 
and I think moralising people for using drugs, saying that they're going to be kind of their part of, I suppose, uh, you know, the part of the kind of the criminal kind of um, circle in relation to, you know, their kind of by using drugs, they're kind of somehow endorsing uh, the black market and the, and, the, and the kind of criminality. I just don't think that washes. I just don't think people think when they're using drugs are thinking of that. They're not thinking of that. You know, they're thinking about other issues about you know, whether this is actually going to have an effect on them. So it, again, it's a, it's a complex issue, but I think we're going to have to have a look at different models than we have at the moment. Uh, and that model, I believe, doesn't work. Criminalising people doesn't work. Uh, it only enriches a certain amount of people in society. And that radical approach is decriminalisation and looking at the wider debate around uh, you know, uh, regulation. You look across the world, Minister, police, you cannot police your way out of uh, the drug industry, the drug kind of world. It's just impossible. It's absolutely impossible. Um, and people, as I said, people will use drugs for all sorts of reasons. And it's a reality. It's a brutal reality. It could be extremely ugly. Look, at, I have seen what drugs have done to people very close to me. And it's absolutely horrible, absolutely horrible what drugs can do, right? But, you know, from my life experience, I believe we need to do something different. Criminalising people um, doesn't work. Um, it only, because again, it only enriches a tiny amount of people in our society. And we need to do something very different. And hopefully the Citizens' Assembly will come back with a different model than we have at the moment.